we use the LXL Pearson specification. It's a two year course in which it's mainly a coursework based subject. It's one of the few subjects that is still coursework. Uh, coursework is worth 60% of your overall grade with the remainder being an exam project with then a 10 hour exam, which is the remaining 40% of the exam. Um, in the course, you'll cover a range of different media and explore lots of different techniques throughout the course, depending on the project that we set. Assessment wise, it's unlike other subjects because every piece of your coursework and classwork and homework counts towards your final grade. It's really detailed and varies and allows you to explore avenues that you want to, linking it to the artists, designers and craftspeople that you've been studying. Um, as I've already said, it's one part is coursework and the other part is an exam project. You get to cover a range of different things, looking at detail and analysing arts, uh, artists and craftspeople. You'll explore different mediums, you'll do drawing, photography, uh, 3D work, to name just a few of the specialisms within the subject. There are four assessment objectives in art, craft and design as with all the other art specialisms. You have AO1 to 4. AO1 is where you usually develop your ideas based on arts designers, artists, designers and craftspeople. Um, so you'll look at them by using the internet or research tools, visiting galleries and museums to find out some inspirations and historical context to artists' work. Then you go away and you're going to record your ideas so you'll start making drawings or take photos or draw from observation. Uh, things that interest you linked to that project You'll then start developing these in AO2, a range of ideas using different techniques and materials. This can be extremely varied and just will be um, linked to whatever it is you're looking at. Um, AO4 then is your final outcome. So once you've experimented, you've recorded and you've looked at different artists, put those ideas together, you'll finally come up with your own final piece, uh, which is the project outcome. So they're the four assessment objectives. These four assessment objectives are the assessment objectives for the coursework, also for the exam project um, in year 11. Um, basically, if you want to take art, there's lots of reasons to take it. If you like to explore different specialisms, art, craft and design, this is the area for you because it covers a wide range and it's not as focused, it's quite broad. So you might do 3D work, sculpture, photography, textiles, painting, drawing, collage, clay and spray paint. Basically, it's quite limitless. So all the different things that you might want to explore, you can do within art, craft and design. So where does this lead us? Well, there's lots of different professions that you can go into from art, craft and design because it is quite broad and allows you to focus on wherever it is you want to go. Um, there are so many different jobs out there from theatre design, animation, film uh, filmmaking, illustrator, furniture designer, product designer, architect, fashion designer. It leaves you with enough scope to then go on and specialise later into your chosen area. So it is a really nice broad context. Uh, for you to start as a basis in art before you go on to whatever you do later on, whether it's A-levels or BTECs and then university. Is this subject right for me? Well, do you enjoy developing your visual skills? Do you like being creative? Are you enthusiastic and imaginative? Do you like to go to galleries and museums? Do you like to experiment and take risks with your work? If you said yes to any of these, then GCC Art and Design could be the ideal subject for you. Here again is just some examples of sketchbooks and some of the outcomes and exhibition we do at the end of year 11 in the Boris show. Once again, art and design could be for you if you're interested in any of the above specialisms that we've mentioned or the careers that I've also just talked about. Hopefully we'll see lots of you next year. Thank you.